here's well I just first of all I wanted to check in with you how you doing I'm doing alright uh, I have a hearing next Thursday I might be getting out so that's good oh really that's really good that's really good um, yeah so we've kind of we've kind of shifted the uh, the format of the show a little bit so alright alright but you know, All right, you're, so, get, you're getting out, man. I just, I know it. I know you're getting out. Yeah, I know, I know, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, it's good to yeah, talk to you. Good. It looks good. Man. It's good to talk to you, man. Yeah. You look good. Well, good luck, and uh, we're all, you know, we're all praying for you, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. You too. All right. You have a good all day. Right, you too. Peace. Okay. Set. Go. Kenny. Hey, I'm Perry. This is my American studio. What else? Okay, what so else what, what you gonna do today? Uh, I'm gonna sing one of my original songs. Okay. Yeah, it's called uh, One Day. And okay. did, were you warned that you got two minutes? Two minutes, okay. I heard. So right, right, okay. kind of just uh, kind of revised it in the other room. So <laughs> right I like it. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Check, one, two. We're auditioning a bunch of musicians. We're gonna choose three, four, or five. And we're gonna have them make a song and a video. Ready to rap, put your hands up high. Now let me hear you say, make your money. Make your money. So yeah, I know y'all judging this, but come on, yeah. Now if you're ready to ride, put your hands up high. Now let me hear you say, make your money. Say it. Make your money. Make your money, money. Now if you're ready to ride, then the party don't stop. Let me hear you say, make your money. Say it. Make your money, money. Like if you told us suddenly that you didn't want us to put you on film, we'd have to. Exactly. When they come together. You'd make Adam's life editing life. Yes. Very, very. Yeah. Yeah, I got to go through and check some of these. What is your nationality? No, I'm Kennedy. Okay. And then Kennedy was she was like an hour early and she was just like I'm just here for you. The studio is a miracle. Yeah, when I came over here from the north side, uh, it was chaos. This is it, man. This is how we're leaving it. This is how we're leaving it, man. It's gonna be dead. It is dead. Wow. It's trippy. Remember when 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 they were when this building was for sale you know that i was still here and the building was for sale the real estate agent would call me and be like hey we're going to do a showing you know i would go over there in that parking lot and i would be like i'd be like this watching them you know and if you know if they walked in and then they came out i'd be like okay sweet you got another month you know you know how many times that door got bashed in people kicking people just kick and kick and kick at that door. Just bend it to all hell, pull on the door, just pull the handle off the door. That just wasn't my place. You know, for some reason, 
the north side didn't accept me. It didn't, it didn't hold me in, in my power, in my, in the studio's greatness. That was a, that was a <laughs> hole. Yeah, that really <laughs> it was. Very was. Old building, yeah. yeah, it was, yeah, it was. For me, it's, it's everything. You know, being in the studio and making music and it's, it's, um, it's the way I live and it's the way I survive, you know. Um, and that's, you know, some people are in the zone, uh, always in, the, in a musical zone or in a creative zone. For me, I'm always in a studio zone. I'm always uh, just thinking about the studio, what's best for the studio. Testing me, testing my heart. Testing me, testing me. Rejoice! Rejoice! <laughs> Be happy! Be happy! The cut book, 79, Coupe de Ville. We break and mix all over the neighborhood and up in the hills. It's a, a beautiful world, nothing to lose. And we got a beautiful girls, plenty of booze. Well, it's surprises, let me know she cares. Say it ain't so, I will not go. There we go. You're from where? I'm from this small town, like two and a half hours away from here. It's called Spicer, Minnesota. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I know that town. Do you really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's super yeah. small. Yeah. But, um, the thing about my songs is they all have completely random different feels. So okay, well, that's good. Called, that's, yeah. Yeah, this that's one's good. called Blue Eyes. Okay. So. My name is Kennedy Licken. Um, I am 16 years old and I sang my two original pieces, Playing Your Game and Blue Eyes. I'm here because I have a passion for music and if I can have anyone listen to my music for just a couple seconds, I'm happy. So uh, I create music so that people listen to it and yeah, so I love music and I'm sure that's why everyone else is here. All of a sudden, when she was about between 10 and 12, she started writing these amazing songs about emotions and love and she'd never even had a boyfriend, but she would write these songs about <laughs> we, all, we knew right away that there was just something special about the way she wrote. I tell everybody, she's gonna sell a song, no doubt. I mean, she will sell a song that she's written. Because there's something about that thing called love in the way Feels a happy head You're, you're probably going to pick Kennedy. Mm -hmm. but, but only you don't know. You know well, I, I would if I had a, a choice. Yeah, oh, okay. be, See, he's thinking about yeah. Kennedy. Okay, so. okay. That's really good. Cool. Really good. Yeah. What genre would you say you are? You know, I have really had this passion for deep house music. And yeah. so my goal is to learn how to produce my own beats technically but I don't mm -hmm. really want to have like the like the typical techno dance music I want to mm -hmm. have a, actually a different sound than like everybody else I'm really mm -hmm. like artists that influence me are Lana Del Rey and Amy Winehouse and people who are just known for their different sound okay thank you very much <laughs> thank you very for much. your yeah. audition Uh, my name is Crispin, it's Crispian, and uh, I played a song, one of the first songs I ever wrote is called Get Down for the judges or whatever they are, directors. I've been singing probably since I was 12 years old. Uh, my grandmother used to sing background for Aretha Franklin, so I grew up from a family of singers. So I'm like one of them that just loves to sing. I stepped out of my shell a bit to be here because I'm very nervous about singing in front of people, but I've got a bunch of songs written and I'm ready to, I just, yeah. Music is my oxygen, I love it so much. I mean, I just want to write music for people. I, I've been singing for years, but I, I don't know, maybe like film scoring, maybe. You know, ideally writing for a famous singer, but you know. <laughs> My name is Jeffrey Latre Jones, and I'm Monty Pena. And together we are seed. Uh, we have a drummer. Fortunately, he couldn't make it today, so we decided to just unplug, hit you with the acoustic, ready when you guys are. Let's hear it. Okay. Let's hear it. We came together in the most unorthodox way. I am a R&B master. Uh, singer songwriter and Monty of course is that alternative rock metal everything um, we came together about a year ago um, 
started banging together some tracks and the results are just amazing. I knew I had met Jeff before, the singer. He worked with an, uh, another engineer of mine, you know, the next day. He said, yeah, you should listen to this. And it was cool. I mean, I really liked it. I was, I was thinking to myself, I can hear this on the radio. So I knew he was coming. So we, when he walked through the door, my my mind was just totally ready to hear some like R and B, and it didn't take. It took me till about half or a minute into the song to realize it wasn't. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, well, now this isn't what I thought was gonna come out of your mouth. Why me? I never asked for any of this sort of night. Me. Own love for both of us to be set free. Cause everything circles around once again. And it never ends. Just when you think you found another friend, if it's just another tragedy. So tell me that's what it takes. Never asked for any of this sort of night. Long enough for both of us to be set free. I'm free. to be able to say no that's the key and that as the more I get you know the older I get the more I just say no you know just like you know on that phone call I was like dude if you want to if you want to hook up with me you come right now and give me the money and he's like well when am I gonna have studio time oh I don't know and if you don't like it then I'm, that's fine I'm gonna go home and be with my girls and my wife I don't it just doesn't matter to me we built it I can take it down. This place is turning into a splat ball. When I filled out my net worth in 2007 or something that said that I was worth $2 million and I almost had a panic attack. I mean, you think all your problems are solved, but it, it really, it's really just another problem, you know? To a certain extent, I, I felt like I needed more. And so in 2009, I met a guy, he's a conniving, manipulative, Dude, I mean, I, literally, I felt like I was in a trance for the whole year that we worked together. But between him and me, the year 2009 was the year my business went from doing okay to completely bankrupt with no money, desperate. Every night I close my eyes. Carter was great because his, I loved his voice. I'd seen a lot of potential. I'm like, you know what? I, I haven't heard very much of that. So he was of a choice. So since we're doing the wild card thing, that solves that problem. And the other problem is Kennedy and Kenny's handling her. So mm -hmm. I, I believe I'll be taking Austin. Okay. Austin James. <laughs> I 
I haven't messed with dabbling in music, and a, a friend of mine, you know, had a, had a studio in his basement. Long story short, I ended up getting a publishing deal with Sony ATV, still have it now. Met a whole lot of people. Most of my album was done by the time I signed my record deal, so I just had a decent little budget left, so all the people that, that I felt that were hot at that time, the guy named Corrupt at the time, he was hot. Group by the name of Slum Village, a guy named Raphael Sadiq, he's still dope to me. What's up, this is, this is Jay Isaac, man. Um, we're actually filming right now, and I'm calling you on speakerphone to let you know that uh, you are one of the lucky ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I definitely know that music is, you know, to make it in the music industry is less than, you know, one one hundredth of, of a percent um, who actually try for it actually make it, you know, but for me, I mean, you, you don't know unless you do try. Um, and for the future for me, you know, I, I hope to have a successful career in music, um, at least being able to to uh, to perform and, and continue and write and record and, you know, because music is a thing that, you know, hands down at the end of the day will make me happy. I got into music when I was 15 years old and I don't know, let's be honest, it was probably to impress a girl. <laughs> All right, should I just start? Yeah. All right, here we go. The song's called What the F***. <laughs> Don't forget about the things you knew when you were young. Put your books down. Well, I wanted to let you know that um, we actually had such a hard time limiting our choices to three that we actually ended up picking two wild cards, and you ended up being one of the wild cards for the show. Um, so we're actually hoping you'd be willing to collaborate with the other wild card. Yeah, that sounds awesome. So there's another artist, his name's Christian Murphy. He teaches guitar and bass and keyboards and he's actually a tenant in the building here. And uh, he writes so he writes songs and I guess I don't have it all fleshed out at this point, but I think it'll make for some compelling uh, TV. Did I do wrong? Yeah, I like it. Well, live my life. I thought it went great. I don't play anymore. You know, I got a 10 month old son. I'm just trying to be a good example for and, You know, for you know, when I decided to do this a couple hours ago, I didn't even know if I was going to be able to play a song all the way through. Do I, do I remember how to play it? Gamble with our souls, never fair. It ain't equal. Relatives on that needle. Doctor murder the fetus and my, my brother's keeper. Ripley wouldn't believe us. FEMA wouldn't save us. Mama had to raise us. That's my. So the white man trade us, mask every lifestyle, everything was made up, rather than put it down, instead of trying to save up, stay down so long, you would think Melo gave up. And that's real. That's what's up. When I think on you, I get this feeling. I could if we'd had a bit more time. When I think on you, my head is reeling. Can I find a way to make No, under the undertow is where frozen acts take I watched your easel crack before your portrait faded blank Too much white canvas left But you stay true to what you'd lose Only to lose yourself, so now 2010 was a year of, of attempting to rebuild And I took a trip to Mexico And it wasn't a vacation, it was actually a, a ceremonial trip And I got a call the second night I was there Seven rooms had been robbed and at that point, I just I called my bank and I said, "Look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make any more mortgage payments. I don't want to be underwater. I can't even make this thing cash flow." I was given notice on August 1st, and on August 6th, I signed a lease in this in this location. My credit was terrible. I mean, if somebody would have pulled my credit report, it would have just been forget about it. I spent all my money on the deposit and getting all my all my gear over here. In the back, in the warehouse, in back of these offices, a guy was moving in. They, both he and I were looking at leasing the space at, at the exact same time. Drew came up and toured these offices and said, well, what are you going to do with these offices? Uh, I might want one. And he said, well, I'm talking to a guy that wants to do a music studio. And Drew said, I would never do that. Music studio people are crazy. And, and he said, but there's only one guy that I would rent to in the whole city, and that's Perry Bowers. 
When I came in to this place and Jay Isaac walked in it for the first time and we were just in the control room and he kind of looked around and he was, he said, man, you, you have been blessed. And that's, that was the first time I really realized it because so much was going on. I was moving things. I was trying to figure out how I was going to pay my bills and feed my family. And just I had so many different things on my mind that I never really took the time to appreciate how blessed I was. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do forever and ever. I'll make it. I'll make it. I'll make it.